Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It is super helpful. So this is a very special video today because I'm gonna be showing you guys an exclusive clip from the forthcoming documentary, Playing With Power, The Nintendo Story, which is by Media Juice Studios. And it's directed by Jeremy Sneed, who directed Video Games The Movie and some other features. And it's starring Will Wheaton, Sean Astin, and some other gaming luminaries. Really excited about this. Now, why am I showing you guys an exclusive clip from the film? That's because I'm gonna be in it. Yeah, back in 2018, I interviewed with Media Juice Studios. For gosh, it must have been two or three hours at least, and it was a great time. I was really flattered and honored to be a part of this project. And the clip I'm gonna show you, it's me and some others talking about the impact Super Mario 64 had on the industry. What a revolutionary game it was. And this is from part three of the series. Again, it's a five part series on Crackle. Go ahead and download that and be ready March 1st to watch this five part documentary series. And uh, without further ado, let's just show you guys this clip and I'll see you on the other side. Blowing everyone else away at this year's E3 was Nintendo. They definitely had one of the biggest and most crowded stands. And why? Because they were officially showing their new N64 machine and a selection of the titles planned for it. At long last, Nintendo's Project Reality, now dubbed the N64, was released with its flagship game, Super Mario 64. Mario. The transition between 2D side-scrollers and a full 3D world, that was the one thing that made the gaming industry go from, you know, this to this. And that, that was the N64. And, and most importantly, Super Mario 64, which was just a brilliant game. Nintendo is, is famous for introducing entirely new types of games and new types of gameplay. And with Nintendo 64, Super Mario 64 definitely uh, revolutionized the industry. It basically invented a new genre. Because now you're in a world, as opposed to just a flat two-dimensional screen, or uh, being able to shoot things in the distance. Now you were able to, to go through doors and jump through windows and all kinds of really cool stuff. So for me, that was probably the most innovative, um, unique game of all the games I ever played. Based on that game alone, the, the Nintendo 64 was definitely a game changer. I remember when I first saw that game, I thought, this, this is revolutionary. This is gonna change gaming for everyone forever. I just can remember being the first time that I ever saw Mario in 3D. I uh, went to Shoshinkai in Japan and I watched Mr. Miyamoto do a demo and it just made me feel like it's a real boy. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think. And in a second, I'm gonna show you guys the trailer from the film. It's a really slick movie. Uh, not only does it have Will Wheaton and Sean Astin, but it's got other gaming luminaries as well, including some of my friends like Tommy Tallarico, Leonard Herman, Chris Kohler, and some others. It looks to be a really wonderful film. I'm really excited about it. It's really, watch the trailer. It's really slick looking, and I'm just excited to be a part of it. I'm, I'm really honored. Humbled, flattered, all that good stuff to be in it. And I'm really excited to show you guys this exclusive clip. And I hope you enjoy it. You can see my hair was a little shorter there. Hopefully I didn't make too much of a fool myself talking about uh, Nintendo through this documentary, but we shall, sh we shall see. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure they'll edit it enough to make me sound uh, semi-coherent. <laughs> anyway, enjoy the trailer to Playing With Power, the Nintendo story, and let me know in the comments what you thought of this clip and what you think of the trailer and just in general, what you think about, you know, are you looking forward to playing with power, the Nintendo story? 
Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. And now enjoy the trailer to Playing With Power, the Nintendo story, and the movie will debut March 1st on Crackle. So Nintendo started back in the 1880s as a trading card company. So they were in the gaming business way before we probably ever even called it the gaming business. It may be the most addictive toy in history. Nintendo video game. My mind was blown. My mind was just blown. Blew my mind. Changed my life. I was blown away. The NES was so magical. A quantum leap. Watching and yelling at the screen. Oh, it's right there. Oh, don't miss Christmas, it. Christmas, when I was eight years old, ripping open the packaging. Ah! Nintendo, now you're playing with power. I love Mario and all of his buddies. <laughs> going to be controversial and I'll get hate mail for this, but you want the truth, I'll give you the truth. To fans, they represent a challenge, but to critics, they are a menace. Nintendo was embroiled in a lot of lawsuits, like things were kind of bad. Nintendo controlled the market and they had a monopoly, I mean it's plain and simple. In six years the price hasn't gone down at all, there's no competition for them. They were a little bit drunk on their own success. missteps can really create financial turmoil for a company. I didn't think they understood how much money they were going to lose. Once the PlayStation came out, it was a different level of competition. Nintendo, they were in solid third place. I would always say that I sell joy for a living, and we were Nintendo. It did not matter to us what it would take. I think the health of Nintendo is something that we should cherish as an industry. There's some real beauty to moments in time. When you think of video games, the very first thing that comes to your mind is Nintendo.